The students are based in Borrego Springs for two weeks while doing the course with a focus on water and energy through the lens of the Southern California desert. This course happens to be run as a summer problems without passports course. The problem is sort of what we do about water and energy in California. Because here we have the nexus of the Colorado River, the Salton Sea, energy sites, it's all right here. The class is centered around solutions to the problem, history and politics of the problem. I was very interested in how we balance environmental concerns with human concerns. We've gotten to do such a huge variety of things. Today we went to the California Wolf Center and we got to actually observe some wolves and their behavior. Took a trip to Fonts Point where we got to see all of the sediment that has been deposited over like millions of years from the Grand Canyon. Today in the course, we're in the field. We're driving to the southern part of the Salton Sea. So we have the Salton Sea, this huge mistake, this huge accident that happened after a flood in the Colorado River flooded the Salton Basin. It was being fed by agricultural runoff from the Imperial Valley and stuff. And then Imperial Valley began to sell water to San Diego. So you started losing a lot of that fresh water coming into the Salton Sea. And so water evaporated, started getting saltier, fish started dying. And so it's all very interesting seeing how the water rights have played out. You end up with this huge ecological disaster um, in the middle of the desert. 50% of the course grade is an individual research project. A class like this is very unique because it gives you the ability to do things that usually only graduate students do. We're staying in a facility that's for graduate students. We're doing all the things you would do if you were an environmental studies grad student looking at this problem. So my research paper is about the history of water rights in California. I'm looking at a fish, a very small fish, called the delta smelt. The delta smelt has actually been announced this year to be functionally extinct in the wild. My particular research project is on grid level energy storage and the potential of implementing vanadium redox flow batteries here in Borrego Springs and other desert areas. Looking at this history of the development of this system is essential to taking any steps towards reform. You're looking back in order to look forward. The students are living together and cooking together and so we've got a really unique bonding experience, a sort of a two-week big extended family by looking into emerging research and just new fields of study, we really have the opportunity as scholars to make an impact.